Julia, how would you rate your high school cheerleading experience from one to 10? I would say definitely a 10. If I could rewind and go back to all those four years, I definitely would. And that's just the best part of my life, I'd have to say. Do you remember your first day of tryouts? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. Uh, my very first day, I was in eighth grade going into freshman year of high school. And I remember being just really, really nervous. And for some reason, I remember that it was a hectic week for me because I had a lot going on with school and whatnot. But yeah, I remember being so nervous and the day of tryouts, um, oh, I remember we had to learn a cheer and the dance and um, there were three judges. So it was me and one other girl that walked into um, the room where the tryouts were happening. And um, yeah, that's what we had to do. We had to do a cheer, we had to do a dance. And um, the judges also were looking at things like making sure your emotions were tight and sharp and also facial expressions. Those were things that they would look out for. And yeah, overall, I just remember being so nervous yet really excited and there's a lot going on through my mind what were your practices like so i had practices twice a week every monday and wednesday after school and i just remember like being really exhausted afterwards um, I would think to myself, just going into practice, what my coach was gonna say after a game, or how the practice before was, and just hearing what she was gonna have to say, and also she was helping us prepare for an upcoming game, uh, making sure mistakes from our routine that we did at the previous game, you know, fixing those things and, um, you know, things we could work on to improve our routine and make sure there weren't any errors like stunts falling, um, tumbling skills, being nailed, that kind of stuff. Which team were you on? I was on JV from my freshman through junior year and I was on varsity my senior year. JV didn't really do that much, um, but I feel like that was kind of good for me in a way because every Friday I would just get to hang out with my friends, which was so cool. But varsity did a lot. Varsity were the ones who um, baked, who baked goods for the football players, drew them posters and wore their football jerseys. They were also the ones who um, performed at the pep rallies, and they were also the ones who performed at the local showcase for the little girls. But overall, um, I'm just very happy with um, how everything turned out. What was your favorite memory? My favorite memory, I actually had two. Uh, my first memory was my first home game my senior year. I remember that day crystal clear, just being in my uniform and just the crowd going wild and knowing that um, knowing that the season was going to end like really soon. I feel like just when, within a snap of a finger, I felt like that season was just gonna go by fast. So I was just taking it all in on that day, just being really, really excited. A lot of, there were a lot of people there. The bleachers were packed, a lot of teachers, students, people's parents, alumni were there. I'm telling you, it was like madhouse there. And my second memory, I would have to say was, football dinner 
my senior year. That was my very last one. And I remember just being there that night and um, giving the girls awards. And um, I remember getting like a little gift bag when I was at that dinner. It was a picture of me from one of the football games senior year and I think like one of the football moms took that picture of me and framed it that was what I got in my gift bag and I got a furry blanket that just says PVHS 2019 on there and uh, and they gave us like a little uh, yearbook of like the season so yeah do you still keep in touch with your teammates do I still keep in touch with my teammates I'm going to be very honest here, no I do not, and personally speaking, I didn't really consider them to be like actual friends outside of practice, I just more considered them as my teammates. I'm going to be honest here, I feel like my teammates, they were really nice to me and they were really really helpful to me, whether I was stuck on a certain part of my routine or whether I could improve my jumps or motions that I was doing in cheers like they were really helpful and um, I'm also really glad that um, they invited me to a couple of their sweet 16s I remember um, two girls invited me to their sweet 16s my freshman year and two other girls invited me to their sweet 16 sophomore year and one girl invited me my junior year and just going to those parties even though i wasn't really friends with them i feel like it was just very nice that um i went to those girls parties and i had a lot of fun and um i'm sure they're really happy to have me there and um also recently um back in october i uh, went to go visit my former teammates who were freshmen when I was a senior and um, I found out the day of that they were having their senior day and I remember just walking up to that turf just being like oh my god here I go like I'm gonna surprise these girls like it's their senior day I know they're gonna be really psyched to see me and so the second I walk on that turf all six of those girls just see me and they're like, oh my god! And they're all just coming up to me and just hugging me, asking me how I've been. And um, yeah, it really just seemed like yesterday that it was me on my senior day and those girls were freshmen. And then just seeing them on their senior day was just amazing to me. Being like, wow, like these girls really have come long way this is where they are right now and this is where I am years later as an alumni and uh, yeah has cheerleading taught you anything yes definitely it has cheerleading has taught me um, confidence I really feel like I've just gained a lot of confidence not outside of cheer but also in cheer and um, it's taught me strength that's taught me how to be strong and um, just to keep fighting if I mess up just try again and um, just don't get myself worked up even if it's like little as like forgetting a step in a routine or forgetting a motion in a cheer or something small like that just like don't get yourself worked up and just to not give up and um, as NCA always says, the work is always worth it, and I will always remember that. When did you know it was time to walk away from cheerleading? Uh, the moment I knew it was time to walk away from cheerleading was after I had made my college decision. Um, so I'm really happy to be where I am right now. Um, here I am, 21 years old junior to college at Montclair State University, majoring in filmmaking, and um, I really couldn't be any more happier to be where I am right now, but the moment I knew it was time to walk away from Chile was after I had made my decision, and um, looking back, I feel like I made the right decision, 
because it really has allowed me to just focus on myself, school, and my future. And even though cheerleading is no longer a part of my life, I'm just still grateful for everything it has taught me, everything I have learned from cheerleading, the memories I have, and it's just something that I'm going to look back on. This is where I am right now, and I really just couldn't be any more happier to be where I am, and I'm really just enjoying myself a lot more, and I just cannot wait to see what the future holds for me.